Hey YouTubers! Welcome to a gear review unboxing slash jam day here at Shopfield Music. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, bell it yo! We'll send you notifications. Well, today I have a, uh, a cab comparison. I had a comment from Mr. Anthony who wanted to know the difference between the 2x12 closed back and the 1x12 open back for the Marshall SV20. I'll leave it. I'd like to hear what your comments are in the in the description. Which one did you prefer with this particular recording? There's so many variables recorded both a Les Paul and a, uh, a Fender S style guitar by LSL, it's a Carl Verheyen. So it's got the 50s vintage uh, pickups. Both guitars were up there in volume. I had the tone knobs and the volume on the LSL all the way up. Uh, I had the Les Paul on a nine, or both cabs through an SM57, um, one at a time and both of them have the uh, ST170 ribbon microphone. That's about two and a half feet away from the cabinet. I ran a loop in the looper. It's got a back. Uh, it's got a drum backing track, so that's in there as well. And uh, I I compared the the five watt and the twenty watt. Um, I also did a direct recording of the aux in. Um, I did not get to the direct recording of the Marshall. I'll have to get that in another video. I'm sorry. I did want to get that in there, but I ran out of time. But uh, anyway, so yes, both recorded through there. When I ran this into the recording software, I did not EQ anything. I matched gains on everything is all I did. Volume level, there's no panning. The gains are exactly the same so that you can tell the difference from five watt to 20 watt. Um, and as well as what an open back 112 will sound like. In this particular situation, I think having the one by 12 more in an open room with a ribbon mic behind it would be an awesome recording and a fun way to do it. Uh, but I just wanted to get a comparison between the two cabinets so you guys can hear what's coming out of the front of these things when or if you buy one and get it home and you hear it in your studio so both of them will have the ST170 I did not mute that or cut that out in between switching over speaker jack to speaker jack from amp to cabinet when you heard the comparisons the mics were recorded uh, right at the edge of the the cone, the very center of the cone, both on the, on well, it would be, I think you're watching this, that side. <laughs> Left, right, I don't know. It's on that side, both of them are, just on the edge of it, going straight at it. Didn't I didn't offset it. And it is an inch away from the, uh, the, the, uh, the speaker baffle. So uh, I didn't, I didn't, throw it right up there. The gains, I tried it with it right up there and I thought it was a little harsh for me. Uh, hence the reason I like the ribbon blended in there. So both of them will have that blended. Like again, all gains the same, all levels the same, no EQing. And uh, so this is going to be a little hot, hot I think coming in for the recording. It's not going to be very clean. We'll do another comparison later with clean maybe if that's what you guys want. Um, again, I use the uh, Nuex Loop Core Deluxe with the drum beat pattern on it. So absolutely uh, been having some fun with this looper. All the settings on the amp are untouched. The There's no pedals in the looper. The loop core deluxe pedal was right after the guitar and then from the pedal to the amplifier. The effects loop button was turned off in the back of the amp. And this cab is a 16 ohm cab. This is an eight ohm cab. So of course you wanna make sure you get your speaker jacks properly hooked up behind the amplifier. All right, well, let's get on with it. You guys can check it out. Cheers.
three, four.
three, four.